Hi guys, welcome back for another Collectology Collecting Vlog. As you can see, things are looking a bit retro today. And that's because we're talking about collecting vintage video games. It's not surprising that after five decades of technical development and obsession by a great number of people, the obsolete video games now have their own thriving secondary market. Obviously, when you look back at the old games that are coming up on this list, you won't be wowed by the graphics or sounds, but it's the history of each one that makes it valuable. It's definitely worth popping up to your attic and having a rummage around because some of your old games might be worth a few quid. Due to the new trend in collecting video games and video game memorabilia, there have recently been a number of collector's edition releases. Often these games will feature different packaging or be bundled with collectible figures. However, the games I'll be talking about today are collectible just for existing. We're going to start with a Nintendo Game Boy game from 1993. Trip World was loved by critics when it was released because of its overflowing charm and character. It was quite unusual at the time as half the characters on screen were actually NPCs just going about their business. The game was released in Japan and Europe and if you'd like to get your hands on a copy you'll be looking to pay anything from £150 all the way up to and over £1000 for a brand new in-box version. Our next game was genius at the time, at least Nintendo certainly thought so. It's this, Stadium Events from Bandai released in 1987. Now of course Bandai are more famous for their toys than their video games, but this one was special. It came with a special mat that let the player walk, run and jump to make the character move. Within a year, Nintendo had bought the rights to the game and the mat and completely rebranded it. They then pulled all copies of the original game to avoid consumer confusion. However, they didn't manage to get them all. It's suspected that around 200 copies managed to avoid getting pulled and experts believe that around 10% might still exist today. One lucky lady in North Carolina recently found an old NES with a copy of Stadium Events. She popped it on eBay and was shocked when the bid sailed past $13,000. Our next game is something of a legend in the collecting world. The Gamma Attack Saga by Gamation is an Atari game that was never actually released. So imagine the shock when one flea market forager found a cartridge simply labelled Gamation in a dusty box. He'd managed to land himself the only known copy of Gamma Attack. The lucky finder of course stuck it straight on eBay for a ridiculous half a million dollars. Now there were no takers but experts think that if he had actually been willing to sell it, it could have been worth $9,000. More for him though as due to the hype surrounding this find, the original programmer actually released a very limited 100 hand signed cartridges of the game. Next up we have King of Fighters 2000, the English edition. Apparently there are only 100 copies of this game believed to exist. This was the last in the series of games by S. SNK and made shortly before they filed for bankruptcy. The story goes that the lead designer of this game left before it was finished, meaning it still contains some strange glitches. Although despite, or maybe because of, its faults, the game could be worth between two and a half and four and a half thousand pounds. Our next game is actually three games and was only given out as prizes. This is the 1990 Nintendo World Championships Gold and Grey editions. The 90 grey ones were handed out to finalists and another 26 gold ones were handed out as prizes in a separate contest. The cartridges themselves contained versions of Super Mario Bros, Rad Racer and Tetris with modified scoring systems adjusted for the tournament. If you want to get your hands on one of these gold or grey editions, then you'll have to hand over between £11,000 and £16,000. They are super rare. Our next game is rare for all the wrong reasons, mostly though because it's just so bad. In fact, it's that awful they literally had to dump it in a landfill site. It's this, Atari's E.T. Now Atari assumed that because Spielberg's film had been such a huge hit, that so would their game. Sadly, they were very, very wrong. It was terrible. The company was left with so many copies of the game that they dumped them in a landfill. However, in 2014, a new documentary about Atari called Atari Game Over stirred interest in these buried games. They actually went and exhumed copies of the game, about 1,300 cartridges to be precise. Some of these went to archives, others were auctioned to raise money for a museum, but you just know that some have been hidden away to later reappear on the internet for sale. Now, the last game we're going to mention is this. It's Tetris. Now, normally it's really easy to get your hands on a version of Tetris, unless, however, you want a copy for the Mega Drive. Now, there were a few legal issues at the time which caused the game to be scrapped after only a few were made. 
The legend goes that only 10 copies exist. Now this could be true, especially when you consider that a recent copy signed by the Russian Tetris inventor himself sold in July of 2011 for $11,000. One thing is for certain, it's one to keep an eye out for. Now that's it for today. Obviously there are a great many super rare video games out there and it is definitely worth doing your research before buying any. Now have you got any interesting or rare titles in your collection? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest in collecting news, simply subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Instagram.